Greetings and salutations. Jack Willard here, coming on to tell you that we will have a special midweek edition of Worldwide Ramblings tonight at 7 p.m. East Coast time. Tonight, as I do this uh, little video, uh, being the 7th of August, 2024, 7 p.m. In fact, we call this video live tonight, 8, 7, 7 p.m. And then dash Governor Wall's horror show now. We're just going to comment on what happened on Tuesday, the 6th, um, briefly. I hope you care about what is going down in this realm and that you'll be voting on the uh, 5th of November, 2024, if you can, here in America, because what happens, the decisions that are made will greatly uh, affect the future of America. I mean, even <laughs> Kamala Harris would agree with that. Yeah, it does come down to what kind of future do you want? Do you want America to continue to sink into the abyss? Or do you want America to pull up, pull up, pull up and correct course so we can have more glory days for America? Do we choose evil or do we choose something better? I won't say good because goodness comes from God not from a politician, but it's never been so crucial that we change the course that we are on. So um, I want to say that the last Saturday night on Worldwide Ramblings, we had a busy, fun show. You can find that. Just go to the live section of this channel the Virtual Church of the Disillusion. That's where all our past live shows are. And since this is a pre-recorded video I'm doing, this will stay up. And uh, it's the same instructions. If you see this little program here a few days or weeks or whenever down the road, you can find uh, the show I'm talking about, Worldwide Ramblings for um, 8724 in the live section of this channel. We were having so much fun, I didn't get to everything. <laughs> uh, we were on for well over two hours. So I have some pictures to show you. I didn't uh, sh show at the time. And I want to thank all the people that have been hitting the uh, thanks button or now the uh, Cash App um, giving us a tip. Those tips are so appreciated and so important. If you like what we do here, um, it's very uh, it's very important. So we didn't really uh, completely thank those who uh, have uh, given recently and those that have given in the past. And I want to do that. Um, the uh, cash app handle that I have is MediaGuy56, all small letters, and the number is 56. Media Guy 56. If you use Cash App, you know all about that. So um, I'm very grateful. I'm really very grateful. Right now, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what happened on Tuesday, the 6th. Kamala Harris picked her vice president. Everyone thought it was going to be Josh Shapiro, but she caved uh, for two reasons. It's easy. You know, Kamala is easy to read. The reason she didn't pick Josh Shapiro is, number one, he's Jewish, and that would not please the progressives. Many progressives, not all, many progressives uh, have a problem with um, Jewish people. Even Van Jones on CNN admitted that there is a part of the progressive movement that is anti-Semitic. His words, not mine. His words, not mine. So she, uh, she didn't want to pick him, but there was another reason too. He's a really great speaker, much better than her, and probably, not probably, has uh, presidential uh, ambitions. <laughs> he might have challenged her four years from now. You just don't know. You just don't know. So she cleverly had him come out and speak 
before she came out with her pick, which was not him. It was Governor Walls of Minnesota. She had him come out and give a rousing speech, and he was willing to do it. He was willing to do it. Uh, Perhaps like Chuck Schumer, he has never met a television camera that he didn't love. So he's preparing for the future. And uh, then uh, the Vice President Harris and her pick, the governor of Minnesota, Tim Walls, came strolling out to thunderous applause. <laughs> this, is, um, this is getting to be like a Hollywood movie. He is 60 years old. She's going to be 60, right? I think so. And uh, he is definitely uh, someone who has achieved a lot. But when you look closely at his record... There are some frightening things in there, some frightening things in there. He is an admitted socialist. He says, don't try to hide your socialism. Don't run away from it. Of course, what we've seen time and time again, if you look back in history, is that socialism often dovetails into some form of communism. It's not always, you know, like... uh, what we saw in Russia, but, uh, and what we still see in Russia, but, uh, the two are cousins. There's no doubt about it. And what you see, of course, is that leaders no longer want to represent the people or think about what their constituents, uh, uh, want. They have an agenda. It's a power play to do what they want but then try to fool you into thinking they are for you. They are for increasing your rights when really they have plans to take many of them away, including what kind of appliance you can have in your house, what kind of car you can drive, and what kind of uh, life, what kind of quality of life you're going to be able to have because they have like a Robin Hood mentality. The way for everybody to have the same thing, whether they worked hard or not, is they've got to take that money away. Robin Hood, take from the rich and give to the poor, maybe a 70 or 80 percent tax increase or a tax rate for uh, well-to-do people. The idea in America is that you can be anything you want. You just have to apply yourself. You have to pursue it with a passion. I don't expect to earn what my uh, doctor earns. I didn't go through all that. I didn't apply myself like that. Even when I was back being a radio disc jockey, I knew that there were announcers, radio was hot then, music on the radio was hot. There were announcers making an obscene amount of money in big markets, especially in the morning and afternoon drive shifts. Well, I never pursued that with with a passion. I always told myself, I'm pretty much small, maybe medium market uh, type talent. My production skills you know, where you have to go into a studio and work on uh, voicing commercials and uh, using uh, whatever technology. Back in the day, it was reel-to-reel tape, which you had to uh, supposedly splice with uh, a uh, white marking pencil and a razor blade. Well, I told myself I couldn't do that, and I was right. My self-fulfilling prophecies hurt me. So my retirement is not going to be the size of a lawyer, or an architect, or something like that. I accept that. That's my fault. That's my fault. I don't expect to uh, grab something from people that are well-to-do, that are well-to-do, uh, and, and, and have the same kind of a retirement that, uh, that, uh, that a millionaire would have. It doesn't work that way. That's not the American way. You bear down, and of course I did work hard. I did work hard often, but I didn't believe in myself enough. And there are people that 
that don't want to work hard. They just want a free ride. They want a free ride. So anyway, Governor Walls says he's a proud socialist. Don't be ashamed of that. Uh, But socialism and communism, history shows us, often dovetails. Often dovetails. When you look at the things this man has done uh, as the governor of Minnesota, you quickly find, as you go back to 2020, that he did not fulfill his oath to protect and serve his people. That's a crime in my book. People needed protection, but he was strangely silent as BLM rioted in the street, burning down the police station, torching police cars, burning black-owned businesses and white-owned businesses, looting everywhere, no police presence. They were overwhelmed, and the governor was somewhat telling them to stand down, stand down. I saw a couple who were not uh, black. This is footage from 2020. I saw them uh, play this on uh, the news tonight, and they were standing in front of their burned home. They said, we worked so hard on this house. We put everything into it, and in a matter of minutes, it was gone. But what does the governor say finally? He says, this is what happened. This is what happens when equity and equality are ignored. Eventually, it comes to a head. So he was saying that uh, all these felonies that were be com- being committed and would continue to be committed in uh, the state of Minnesota was justifiable, justifiable. And tonight, when he gave his uh, speech after being introduced by the vice president, uh, he said, I I can't uh, wait for you to meet my wife, Gwen, a public school teacher for X amount of years. And uh, then they showed uh, a tape of her And this was back when the riots were happening. And she was uh, saying that, well, I know the law and order crowd won't be happy about this, but these things are going to happen. You know, she spoke of it being like birth pangs that needed to uh, take place. Well, they are sitting there with a complete armed security team. They're safe as safe can be but they don't care about the people that got them elected right on down the road. So there is that to take a look at. He is unrepentant that he did not fulfill his oath to protect the people of Minnesota and uh, especially in Minneapolis. This man has visited China 30 times. He spent his honeymoon in China. Think about that. I wonder who Chi wants to win this election. I wonder who, uh, who uh, he is partial to, huh? During COVID, he had some of the most draconian COVID laws. Not just about getting the shot, but no visitors in your home. And then he set up a snitch line. A snitch line. Tell on your neighbor if you see them having company. Uh, The penalty could be up to 90 days in jail. This is the elected official now uh, turning into a dictator. He is for the chemically castrating of young children. Chemically castrating young children without parental permission. Without parental permission. In fact, 
if the parents object, they can see their rights completely violated and their children taken away from them. What is this, North Korea? What is this, Japan? What's going on here? Children, because of something perhaps they saw on TikTok, deciding they don't identify in their sexual orientation. They're just children. and They want surgery. Surgery. And we have seen many testimonies of this. They may very well come to regret. Now it's irreversible. That is a crime to do that to a child. Now, if you're 18 years old, you want to transition, that's up to you. Should your state pay for that? That's a whole other issue, but I would say no. I would say no. Um, If I want to have a facelift and look much younger, for example, I have to pay for that. That's elective surgery. Um, My insurance company is not going to cover it. But the chemical castration of boys and girls is disgusting. That, of course, means he also believes that uh, women have no rights. Your teenage daughter has no rights in the locker room. Someone saying that they identify as a woman or a girl can come in and totally violate their privacy and probably uh, win the swim match win the, uh, the basketball game because they are a biological male, for example. That's the crazy things that are going on in 2024. So Kamala went with Governor Walls, pleasing the squad immensely, even... Joe Manchin said he was pleased with the pick, which means another one of my heroes has let me down. You think they have a level of character, and then you find out that they really don't. That they really don't. So don't put your eyes on man. Now, in the case of President Trump and J.D. Vance, you have two Sure, flawed people like all, all of us are, but they want to stop the slide into the abyss that's happening in America. They want to pull up, pull up, pull up before we go deep into the water. Some more glory days for America. So what happens on November 5th is very impactful. There's never been an election We need people on the same page. The most radical candidates, not Democrats, but both admitted progressives, are running for president and vice president of the United States. They're counting on being able to fool you by saying, therefore, democracy, therefore, freedom. When in fact, it's just the opposite. They want to force you to drive electric cars. They want to cause incredible spending that will make living in this country even more difficult. But don't worry, they're going to take a lot of money from the rich people that worked for that money, that applied themselves and made uh, wonderful things happen in their life for people that don't do that. Everybody should have equal opportunity. I'm absolutely for that. But um, I'm not for the Robin Hood method of robbing the rich to give to the poor. At the same point, there are some things that I understand. I do believe that anyone that uh, walks into a hospital that needs medical care should get it, whether they can afford it or not. I do believe that. I do believe that, but I don't believe in gutting the uh, private insurance companies, putting them out of existence. Oh, she doesn't believe that anymore. She doesn't really believe in in no fracking anymore. No, she 
she's changed her mind. You know, she's not that big on the new Green Deal. So this has got to be making some of those progressives very upset that she is uh, backing away. But it's all about getting elected, isn't it? It's all about getting elected. So we are in a very uh, scary time. Uh, I don't want to watch as much coverage of this uh, as I might have watched when I was, uh, you know, feeling good about my president. Yes, Joe Biden is going to walk off into the sunset, but it seems that we could uh, uh, find that his replacements are far worse, far worse. Donald Trump is trying to stand in the gap, bring more glory days, get the economy humming, uh, avert World War III, which is looming, stop uh, spending money all over the place. Janet Yellen wanting to, uh, to spend $38 trillion, an extra 30, oh, just an extra $38 trillion on the Green New Deal. <sighs> We're going totally broke, which will leave us at the feet of people like President Xi. And he will, uh, he will be very familiar who, with who the governor of Minnesota is, the governor that's been over there 30 times. So that's where we are. We're uh, in a time of decision, and uh, prayer is really needed for this country. They are right. Um, it is the time to choose between two futures. Do you want to bankrupt America completely? Nothing left for your children and grandchildren? Do you want to usher in World War III, perhaps? Or should we pull up, pull up the plane and head towards uh, sanity, towards prosperity, towards equal opportunity, yes, for everyone. Uh, legal immigration, legal immigration, not letting um, millions of people from a number of other countries flood America. We've seen the devastation of children being raped, tortured, and then murdered, adults being raped, tortured, and murdered, and all kinds of crime in our big cities. Um, because when you, when you take away the consequences, and this goes for American citizens as well as uh, illegal immigrants, when you take away the consequences, you have lost the country. Let's correct that. Let's correct that. Take a good look at who uh, Governor Walls is. Take a good look at the top of the ticket, Kamala Harris, and I think you'll be able to see we can't afford four years of them. We can't afford four years of that kind of bedlam. So tonight, 7 o'clock, Worldwide Ramblings. We'll talk about some fun things, including Pastor Bob Joyce. Um, people ask questions in my email. Um, many times they're new viewers. At least I hope they have watched a few videos, and they've got a lot of questions. And as I tell them, the best forum for me to answer those questions is here because other people will be curious about the same things. Talk to you later, 7 o'clock tonight, if you're watching this live. That's uh, 7, no, I'm sorry, we're past July 8, 7, 24, 7 p.m. East Coast time. And if it's past that, when you see this, go to our channel and look at the uh, live section, and you'll be able to find the 8, 7, 24 Worldwide Rambling Show. Bye-bye for now.